Hi, Bob McCauley, um, owner of the Watershed Wellness Center. And uh, I, this is um, a video that I've been wanting to do for a while. I finally got around to it, and I wrote a blog about this called The Hoax of Chlorella Cryptomondalis. Um, and it is that product is a complete hoax, and I'm going to tell you why today. So, um, you know, first of all, um, I want to state up front, this is a product that sold Chlorella Cryptomondalis. And um, there's nothing wrong with the product. I mean, it's a healthy product. I know lots of people have taken it for, for months and years, and they did very well on it, and that's fine. But it's totally misrepresented as to how it's grown and what it is and what the species of chlorella is. And uh, they really kind of play real catty with this and uh, won't answer questions. So I just decided to um, kind of expose them for what they are, a bunch of fakes, frauds, and phonies. And I'm tired of it, and I've been told for years and years, just sort of ignore it and, uh, you know, don't make trouble with these people and all this <clears throat> and I just don't care anymore because I'm the one I'm not the one telling a lie here they are so they got a good product but they're totally misrepresenting what it is and how it's grown and I'm going to tell you why now um, what they're telling us is that they took two strains of algae one is called uh, chlorella sorcadia um, and the other one is called uh, spirulina plantensis. Now, I sell spirulina, and then I sell a different strain of, uh, of, of chlorella called chlorella pyrnidosa. So they claim to have taken sorcania um, and then crossed this and created a new strain of, of, of algae. And um, they didn't do that. Of course, they didn't do that. That's that's where the lie is. That's where the most representation is. And I'll explain it to you. First of all, chlorella sorcania is a thermophilic algae, maybe that likes really hot temperatures. And the problem with it is it's it's um, it's a little difficult to grow, not too hard, but uh, you, it produces something called pheophobides. Now, you'll find pheophobides in all types of chlorella, it doesn't matter if you're vulgaris or pyrenidosa. So as long as they're under 60 milligrams, then you're okay. Ours is usually around, you know, 20 to 25, maybe 30 on the high end. So we're well under the limit. And, uh, but the sorcania is way high. You know, you'll find it at 120, 150, 180, um, you know, that's milligrams. So it's very, very high in these pheophobides. So, um, that's a problem. So what you're going to do is you've got to take, mix it with another food, another algae, with something that's going to eat so that when you finally take that tablet, um, it's not going to have all these theophobides in it. And it's one of the reasons why this company um, that produces this, it's a Taiwanese company um, the, uh, that, that produces this, why they take only sell tablets. And first of all is because they want to make sure that they've got the sorokinia and the, and the, and the uh, spirulina in one tablet. You wouldn't want to take one or the other because the fiofobides are going to cause problems for you. And uh, so it's one of the things they have to do. So they claim to have taken, again, these two different types of algae, uh, a chlorella, which is a plant, and then mixed it with spirulina, which is not a not a plant. It's a cyanobacteria. Now, uh, chlorella is actually the first fruit on the planet billions of years ago. And if you look at the uh, you know the the genealogy of plants, you'll see that all the plants on Earth came out of chlorella. They all evolved over the you know, over billions of years into all the different plants that we see today, the tens of thousands of different plants. They all came out of chlorella. It's the first food. And then you see spirulina if you want to see. Uh, you know, the genealogy of that. You'll just see spirulina by itself. It just shoots off 100% pure. Nothing ever evolved from it. And the reason is, is because it's not a true plant. It's a cyanobacteria. It's the way it grows. It grows sort of end to end. It doesn't have a nucleus. So it's not a plant. So when they go to classify things in nature, you know, you look at, you know, does it do this? Does it do that? And then you start giving a genus and species and, you, you know, you, you, you categorize it. When they looked at spirulina, they said, okay, well, this is kind of like it's a bacteria, but yet it's got, it's a cyanobacteria. Cyano meaning blue. Something we get from is called a psychophion from spirulina is very powerful antioxidant and really incredible stuff. It's really one of the key parts of, 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 um, of spirulina. Another, another blue green algae would be FA, uh, Finus monflos aqua that comes out of Klamath Lake. That's another cyanobacteria. And these are really healthy foods, nothing wrong with them, uh, but they're not true plants. Very unique in nature. So, uh, you know, algae is just a really fascinating world when you get into it. But, uh, you know, it's all really technical stuff, but there's really an important point here because what they're telling us is that they took a cyanobacteria and they mixed it with a plant. Well, no, they didn't. You couldn't take an animal and mix it with a plant. It's impossible. So I challenge that right there. Of course, they didn't do this. 
And then when you start asking them technical questions, they just don't answer you. And the public is unaware of it, and there's nobody in the LG community strong enough to stand up to these people and say no. But if you start asking them individually, you call companies that don't produce this thing, you know, other companies, they say, yeah, we agree with you 100%. Yeah, we know they're not doing this. This is just all a hoax. Now, there's another another company out there on the market, and they're made in Taiwan, and they, they have a similar product, and then they, they, they put something in it, uh, another LG called Seaconi, and that has DHA. So they don't, they have a very similar product, but what they has, they claim they have, uh, three types of essential fatty acids, and this is another really key point. Um, because this is how they're really marketing this, uh, this Crypto and, um, and this, this phony product. So this, this, uh, what they're saying is, Crypto Mandala, people who sell Crypto Mandala, they're saying, well, we have alpha, beta, and gamma linoleic acid. Well, I don't believe they do at all. I've never seen beta anywhere in any kind of algae. Beta linoleic acid, I just don't see it. Very hard to find beta linoleic acid, and there's no, it's really hard to say, well, you really need that. Because what they're saying is, because we put, we have these, this new strain of algae, and, uh, and it's got the alpha, beta, gamma linoleic acids, that it is a PPAR stimulator. Well, PPAR, this is kind of a, you know, getting a little technical here, but PPAR is Proxisome Proliferator Activated Receptors. So P-P-A-R-S, PPARs for short. It's really, really, the body really responds really well. When you don't have PPARs and you not have that stimulation, your body's not producing them, you're going to, you know, you're not as healthy as you possibly could be. So, and you, you know, these are stimulated by what we call in the business PUFAs or polyunsaturated fatty acids. So, um, this is one of the key points here because the other company that produces a very similar product has alpha gamma linoleic acid, and then it has DHA um, from this really ex- obscure um, algae called so- C. coney, and um, very difficult to grow, very very unstable. But it has DHA. Well, you can get DHA from a lot of other things, like for instance, chia seeds uh, has a lot of DHA, even flax has a little bit of DHA. So you can find it in the plant world. You don't need to go to fish oil, which is that's what they're always telling you to take fish oil for. Um, and that's another issue completely. But it is obviously found in nature because if if you find um, essential fatty acids in fish, well, where did they get it? Because we can't uh, produce uh, fatty acids any more than they can. So it's the omega-3s that you really need more than anything because those are essential. That's what you got to take in. Anyway, so um, that's the first claim that alpha, beta, gamma, linoleic acid are, is present in this crypto and it's not true. Um, I, I would like to see, you know, an assay of that, a COA, a certificate of analysis. Uh, they won't give you a certificate of analysis. Uh, if you call the company and you demand it, well, they'll send you a nutritional analysis. Well, nutrition analysis can be done by anybody. Um, but what you want is a COA. You'll find that on our website. You know, if you've got a chlorella company out there, an algae or a spirulina company, and they won't give you a COA, there's a problem there. Um, there's something they're hiding. Uh, where it's grown, how it's grown, uh, maybe what their source is exactly. But everything, every herb that you buy uh, should have a COA. And every spirulina chlorella you buy, every product, you should have a COA. It's on our website. Certificate of Analysis. Very proud to put it out there because I don't think there's another company that offers a COA. Um, that's despite the point. They don't offer COA. And then, um, you know, they, they, where's the photos of this new strain of algae that they claim to have created that is impossible. There's no way they could have done it. But where's, where are the photos? Where are the 1,000 times photos or the 10,000 time electron microscope photos of one cell of this algae? They don't have it. They don't have it. They're not going to produce it. They never have. This has been going on for year after year. And they're selling this stuff for a very, very high price and making all sorts of claims that we're something different than these other guys. So we're going to charge you five times more than anybody else because we have this strain of algae that nobody else has when the whole thing is a lie. And if you talk to people in the in the algae industry, like myself, they'll say, yeah, this is a big lie. We don't know what to do about it. Well, here's one of the things I'm doing about it. And if you go to blog.watershed.net, I have a great detail. You just look up uh, the hoax of cryptomondalis, chlorella cryptomondalis, the hoax, and you'll, you'll find it. And I get great detail about what I'm describing here. But um, another thing they refuse to offer is powder. Um, I mean, here's a company, an algae company, that won't sell powder. Why is that? I mean, you know, when I first got into this business, I sold tablets. And then, you know, for about two years. And then I started selling 
um, people kept asking me for powder. And finally, reluctantly, I go, oh, I'll sell powder. Well, my sales went up 20%. So they refused to offer the powder. Well, they, they won't give the powder because they know guys like me would take the powder and then, um, you know, go and analyze it. Whereas if you've already turned something into a tablet, you can't just grind it up and look at it because it's going to be a big mess. You're not going to really know what you got. They know that. So that's why they sell only tablets. I mean, that's another thing that's something wrong here. You know, you just see these red flags all over the place. And so you've got these, you know, alpha beta linoleic acids, gamma linoleic acid. I don't think there's beta linoleic acid in there. Um, I would like to see them prove that. I'd like to see some powder. I'd like to see a sample. I'd like to see photographs of it. Anything that any other chlorella producer, any other algae producer will offer those things to you wholeheartedly. Fine. No problem. Okay. And then what do we get? Well, we get um, nothing. We're not going to give you anything and, you know, basically just shut up about it. So uh, that's the story with um, with uh, with Cryptomondalis, Chlorella Cryptomondalis. Not a bad product, nothing wrong with it, but no advantage over any other algae. And all they're doing is, frankly, folks, is putting Chlorella sorotinia together with Spirulina and, um, and then saying, wow, it does all this stuff, including produce PPARs. Like, that's so special. That's just, if we didn't have the PPARs, we'd all be dead. And it's great to have PPAR, and, and I, you know, but I, I'm, my, my contention is that, you know, chlorella will produce PPARs for you. And in particular, when you take it with spirulina, now you can really produce because you do have alpha and gamma linoleic acid. Now, the one last thing I want to mention here is that their main spokesman for this product is, um, is Henry Lee. The detective. I always see, when I went to, I never heard of this guy. I mean, maybe I don't get it out enough. But, you know, I, I went to go look up who this guy is. Henry Lee. So, Detective Henry Lee. And then uh, everywhere you go, famed detective Henry Lee. Okay, famed detective. He's so, he's so famous. Okay, so that's great. I'm glad he's, I'm glad he's famous. And the reason they got him for a sp spokesman is he's from Taiwan originally and he moved uh, I think he moved to the United States back in the 80s or something but um, he really knows how to go out and get the criminals because he knows you know so much forensics and nobody can escape him and he's he's famous so great but you know I guess when when they went to offer him uh, the, this gig and become their spokesman um, you know he wasn't really doing his homework on this I mean uh, they just said hey we got this new space species of algae that we invented and uh, we crossed a couple of species of algae that uh, couldn't possibly be crossed and but don't ask questions just take the money and I guess um, he must have said yeah it sounds like a pretty good idea I mean I'm a, I'm a great detective but I won't do any detective work here uh, I'll just take the money and shut up uh, you know I, shame on you Henry Lee